Okay, the y component of a force vector is negative 15 newton, 15, negative 15 newton while its magnitude is 27.2 newton. Which of the following could be the direction of the vector? Okay, let, let us draw it out. Yeah, let us draw out first this uh, vector. Okay, we draw x axis and the y axis. Yeah, we need to draw these two first. Yeah. Okay, so this is the center. Okay, but we're not sure. Uh, okay, we have the y component. Okay, this is the y component. Okay, uh, so this. This one is the y component. We can say uh, it's a force. Also, this is Fy. Uh, we can say this is the Fy component. And uh, magnitude, this is F. Lah. Okay, magnitude of F. This is the magnitude of Fy. Okay. Um, okay, we draw, we draw out first. Where is the Fy? Uh, Fy is here. Okay. Fy is here, so this is a negative 15 Newton. Yeah, this is Fy. Okay, so this vector f should be uh, um, below, should be below the x-axis. Okay, maybe I write this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So since the Fy is negative, you see here, the Fy is negative. Negative means uh, if f the y component of this force is uh, going below. That means this force should be below the y below the x axis. Yeah, it cannot be above the x axis. Uh, this is the first thing we know. Uh, but uh, is it at uh, at the left hand side or at the right hand side? Which one? Uh, this one we're not sure. We're not sure. It can be two possibility. It can be either you know it can be either here or it can be either here. Uh, as long as the f y is negative. Uh, so it has two possibilities. The f can be here or f can be here. So we don't know we don't know which one. We don't know this one or this one. Okay? And the force, the force, uh, so so it has uh, we can say it has oops, sorry. What is this? Okay, so it has uh, two possibilities. Lah. Can I say it has two possibilities? Yeah? It can be either below the Below the, we can say this is the, this is the positive x-axis. This is the negative x-axis. Uh, so it can be either um, below the, uh, below the, uh, you know, it's either below the theta degree below the positive axis or theta degree below the negative x-axis. So, but we we know for sure the magnitude of the force is twenty-seven point two. Uh, write that down. This one we know. Ah, okay. So uh, we can cancel out already the question, the answer for positive uh, above one. Yeah? Oh, this one all below. Huh? <laughs> all below, but we're not sure which one, right? Uh, all is below. So yeah, all answer maybe can be acceptable. Uh, but which one? Is it positive x or negative x? Uh, can, can have two possibilities because it didn't say about the x component. It doesn't say about the x component. So what differ is only the angles. What important is the angle? You understand? Uh, so the important is the angle. So we need to find out the angle. Okay, so how to do this? How to do this? So very simple. Uh, we just um we know that uh, it has two components. Yeah, it's uh, either here, yeah, you understand? Uh, it has x and y components. Uh, okay, uh, I see. This is the fx, uh, but we don't know which one. Okay, uh, fy is below, yeah, going down. So uh, how to do this is okay. Formulas: uh, the angle theta must with with x axis. Okay, the theta must always with x axis, not with y axis. Okay, uh, must always uh, with x axis. And um, okay, so form the formula. So this uh, the x the x uh, component the x component formula should be this one should be f cos theta. Understand? Uh, whereas the y component 
because you know why because this angle theta is with x component with x component so the x component should be adjacent to the angle adjacent to the angle or we say have angle use cos theta here no angle no angle means this one is opposite the angle opposite the angle this one is sine theta so fy is using f sine theta ah okay ah, this is the important thing yeah so now we can write be beside here so fy is actually negative 15 isn't it negative 15 and the formula for this is f sine theta uh, f sine theta negative 15 uh, okay uh, anyways uh, uh, we can uh, this y component should you put you should put a negative sign here you should put a negative sign because the the direction is going below isn't it the direction is going below you should put a negative f sine 15 here uh, a negative f sine theta here okay uh, so uh, okay so we can put the 27.2 into it yeah negative 27.2 uh, sine theta equal to negative 15 now uh, we can find the angle theta uh, so uh, let's find out the angle theta so so first of all sine theta equal to okay uh, negative 15 so remember you must change to the degree yeah uh, this one you must use degree uh, don't use radian huh? don't use radian so be careful okay so negative uh, 15 divided by negative 27.2 so it is uh, you get this one 0 0.5515 and then you uh, anti signed uh, anti signed and you get the angles remember must be in degree yeah? not radian ah. oops for a second okay again um Okay, so the angle is 33.47 degree. So is that correct? Uh, where's the answer? Yeah, that's it, this answer. Okay, uh, so the angle is 33.47 or 33.5. Uh, all all the, the later part below the positive x or below the negative x, both, both have two possibilities, yeah? Both accepted. Uh, below the positive x or below the negative x uh, also can because we don't know about the x component whether it's positive x positive fx or po negative fx we don't know okay uh, but one thing we know for sure uh, the angle is 33.47 so all the others angle are wrong uh, only this one is correct okay so the, the answer is c or the other answer the other possibility can be it can be 33 uh, sorry can be 33.50 uh, below it can be also below positive x uh, axis uh, this one also correct yeah this one also correct uh, yeah if you have uh, answer e lah, let's say you have answer e uh, this one also correct yeah because it can be below negative x below positive x because we didn't mention about the fx whether it is positive fx or negative fx, we don't know. So it can have two answers, lah. Can have two answer, either below negative or below positive x. Uh, the important thing is must be below, lah, not above. Cannot be above. Uh, if above, if above positive x or above negative x, even the angle is correct. Yeah, even the angle is correct. But if we say above ne uh, negative x or above positive x, then it's wrong because the fy is negative uh, because the fy is uh, negative negative means it must be below below the negative x or below the positive x uh, important is below the x-axis okay so uh, that's the answer okay hope you understand bye